was bad. Explosion Codes. Today I'm going to share with you some different types of code for explosives you could use in your missions. So I have a little setup today. I have in the back here four quad bikes under my command and each one of them has satchels and explosive charges attached to them. I can command them and I can remotely detonate them to wherever I want. Next we have barrels in different areas. You can see a barrel on top of the building there on top of a table and those barrels will explode upon being shot. So you have a barrel out in the field there, barrel right here, barrel in front of the building over there, building on top of the building that you can barely see, and a barrel up by the water tower over there. Another type of explosive is you have an ammo box over there which will explode when you destroy it. And then in the distance way over there you see a fuel truck which will explode when it reaches its destination. Then within the buildings over there by that tower is a civilian that will walk into a marketplace and explode. So let's start with these barrels and see how these work. So the barrel will basically start on fire. You can kind of see what they do. Let's shoot this guy. The barrel will start on fire. And just blow up. Yeah, so whatever they're next to, they'll do a lot of damage. Lots of dust. And we have the barrel on the roof over there. Let's see if I can hit it. I think that was it. Yep. Then you have this guy here. Better, uh... We need to destroy the ammo box. That was crazy. The way the quad bikes work is basically you can command each one of these quad bikes. So let's take number five for example. Let's send them out yonder. Well, just like normal. Just command them like normal. And then when he gets to where he wants where you want him to blow up, just press six. Six will bring the action aspect of the menu when you're commanding and then what you'll get is an add action in that menu that says detonate quad bike. You detonate it and that's what you get. Massive explosion. Let's take our next quad bike. Let's do number four. And let's tell this guy to go over here. And same thing. Totally just annihilate anything within the surrounding area. It's just, it's pretty wild. Let's do number three. Let's do number two. Two will send. I'll send them over there. Oh. You get it.
you want him to go. <laughs> oh, I just seen him over there. Just, just being close to that area will do a lot. Now we have a fuel truck at the end of the road. So this fuel truck, I have this guy on a trigger just to come and follow a waypoint. So I go to radio and I just tell him to drive. Truck go. And he's going to drive up to this black truck over here on the left and blow up. Yeah, there's two two waypoints. That was bad. That's worse than the quad bikes. And he got the he got the other truck. Here I have a little marketplace set up, a bunch of civilians and cars and whatnot, just for, just for ambience. So for this one, I have a civilian that's going to walk. Civilian, go. And there he come. There he is, right there. He's walking down the street. So this guy is basically a suicide bomber, and nobody knows it. Killed everybody in there. I didn't. I didn't think those cars would be blown up too. Damn. Well, starting with the quad bikes, you have a normal quad bike with a civilian. Just kind of gave him some clothes and whatnot to wear to make him look like a suicide bomber. But in the quad bike itself, all I have is these codes here. And basically what this what these codes do is they attach these demo charges and explosive charges to the position of the vehicle. And you can see attached to demo charge are created at the vehicle position and then they're attached. We have an add action. So this is the add action right here. What it the, the wording that you see in the menu, that Nate quad bike. But it's specifically set up for the quad bike, otherwise it's it's not going to work for anything else. For the explosive barrels, just a regular metal barrel. You can use any barrel you want. So you can see here, metal barrel. And in this, you have this code here. Create some damage to it. Create some emitters for the uh, fire. As you can see, medium destruct destruction fire. Then it gives a sleep. A random sleep of three so it kind of burns for like three seconds and then when it does explode the, the explosion is about the size of a, a helicopter a small helicopter and then it spawns that explosion at barrels position now the delete vehicle is for the barrel itself so the barrel will actually be deleted upon the explosion this code is transferable to pretty much any barrel. All I did for the ammo box was I just named the ammo box ammo one. You could use any ammo box except the one I tried before was an ammo box cache which is uh, a bigger size ammo box with a netting around it and for some reason you can't destroy those. I don't know why but it won't destroy. So any any ammo box that you can destroy will work. So I just named the ammo box and then I have a trigger and this trigger, all I did here 
was there's no activation or activation type but I put it in the condition using the alive check this will check to see if ammo one which is the ammo box is still alive if he's not alive then a bomb a GBU 12 basically up airplane drop bomb will spawn which is the create vehicle at the position of ammo box one let's take a look at the truck for this one all I did was name the truck this fill truck truck you could use any vehicle it doesn't matter I just named the truck and then I gave the truck a waypoint and then I get there was a trigger this trigger is really just to prevent the truck from going so down here where he travels to he falls a waypoint and he gets to this trigger and this is what is the most important part is this trigger so he gets to this waypoint the waypoints are or are normal move waypoints nothing special about them in this trigger when he reaches this trigger I set the activation to anybody present and then to make sure that only the truck would blow up I set it I gave it a condition of the truck only which is the name of the fuel truck truck and then in this list which is basically in the trigger so when the truck is in the trigger then just like the ammo box a bomb of a GBU 12 will be created at the trucks position you know see here trucks position and then will explode let's take a look at the marketplace now the marketplace is just some little marketplace little ambience nothing special just a bunch of civilians standing around and then I have a civilian here who is just a beggar all I did with this guy is I named him beg short for beggar so he's a civilian beggar and gave him a waypoint just like I did with the truck you can see if I got a waypoint it goes to a trigger and then this trigger which you don't have to do this just con this is just controlling the waypoint so that the civilian will go when I tell him on the radio trigger so he follows the waypoint walks into this trigger and the trigger is just like the one with the truck and I have activation anybody present and then when beg is in this list only then a GBU a bomb of a GBU 12 will drop at the at bikes position and uh, basically detonate previously I was testing this and when these civilians were in the trigger and I didn't use in this list it was just this the trigger would go off and beg would detonate so I was wondering like when the mission started the civilian over here literally just blew up because the bomb is being created at the civilians position so I'm like why did they go off so I had to come up with something different because these civilians were in the trigger which was triggering that this just checks to see if beg is in the trigger and when he is it will blow up and something I want to show you is a notepad document that I wrote up for you guys so this is just a notepad document it's not a script so I have everything that I showed you in the editor I have all the codes for in the box here so you can download this and uh, apply it to your own missions but here you have the exploding ammo box and like I have here is all you need is a trigger in the condition box you could just put the alive check and the name of the ammo box whatever you want to have it in the an on activation you have the bomb the bow GPU 12 just remember you need to define the ammo box in the condition and you need to define the ammo box in the on activation for the bomb code then we have exploding barrels which is this and all you do for this is you just put the code here inside the barrel then down here you have a car or a unit to explode when they enter a trigger and I just kind of give a little description here of uh, how this works basically you just create a trigger name your vehicle or your truck whatever you want it could be a unit or just remember it could be a soldier it could be a, a vehicle and just put this in the condition within this list then 
the on activation will be the bomb that will be dropped. It will be created at the position of the vehicle or the unit. And then the activation will be whatever faction side that your unit or vehicle is on. And then they will be present in the trigger. So there's other ways to do that. You can experiment and see, but that's the general idea. Now the suicider or suicide on quad bike, this is just like a code for the quad bike only. It doesn't really apply to anything else because of the positions uh, that they attach to code is using, which are specific to the quad bike. So it won't work really with anything else. So basically all you do with this is just, you know, choose a quad bike and you put this code into the quad bike. Here you have the uh, add action that I was showing you earlier where you can command. You could probably name this to something else if you want, but that's basically it. And uh, that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this notepad document in a zip, zip file and then link it for download in the description of the video. When you guys get it, you guys can, you know, review these codes and apply them to your own missions where you see fit. And uh, I hope that helps. So I want to thank you guys for watching and for more codes and scripts. Take a look at this playlist.